Hello again. Now last week we went to Africa and I have seen some amazing masks that you've produced over the last week and I was really pleased with the, the 2D ones, the collage ones and as well had, some people had a go at creating 3D masks and I saw some amazing elephants in particular, some wonderful trunks, some fantastic ears and some lovely tigers as well. Well done, it was really lovely seeing all those over the last week so well done for that. So where are we going today? Now I did say we started with the letter B. Can you think of any places that begin with B? Have you had a think over the last few weeks? I think um, Christopher wrote in and asked, said, possibly could we go to Brazil or the Bahamas? Now that sounded rather nice. I was thinking, well, I come from a place near Birmingham, we could go there. Or near here, there's Bracknell, we could go there. Can you think of any others? Let's see. Let's have a delve into the box. What will it be? Today, we are going to Brazil. That's really strange because I've been watching lots of documentaries, David Attenborough travelling around the world and doing his documentaries, and I had a really strange dream last night, just about Brazil. Hello, well today we are in the Amazon rainforest and Stanley and I are going on an adventure through the rainforest to see what we can find. I'm very excited. Stanley is wearing a special camera and we're going to be seeing it from his eyes. So it'll be him leading the way through the Amazon rainforest. So, just see a lemur and this amazing frog. I can see something in the distance on the next tree. Something I know one of you wanted to see on our adventures. A sloth, a real sloth on the trees. We're just heading for it. Stanley, go really quietly so we don't disturb him. <gasps> Look at him hugging that ground. Wow, he looks really happy and content in the rainforest. I don't think you should stroke him, Stanley. You're not quite sure what he might do, but he looks pretty chilled out. What was that noise over there, Stan? Like a toucan and a macaw. Wow, I've never ah. seen parrots this close before. They look like they're quite good friends. Wow. How amazing, Stan. What beautiful colours they are. And what beautiful tunes they make. Wow, I wonder what we'll find. So this is in the canopy, Stan. And in the canopy, that's at the tops of the trees where all the butterflies and the birds are living and the monkeys and the sloths. So we're in the canopy. Next, we're going to be going through the rainforest. We're going a little bit lower now into what we call the understory, underneath the canopy where it's a bit darker and the big plants um, protecting us from all the kind of rain and the sunshine and lots of insects we find here we're going to start looking for some insects and other creatures that might be living in the understory stand can you spot anything oh, oh my goodness look at that. i think that could be one of those bird eating spiders oh, that looks huge but scary. oh but pretty butterfly there you can spot it stand that's a lovely butterfly what else can you see stand oh, a venus flytrap oh my goodness that's a rather big venus flytrap let's hope it doesn't catch you Oh, what's that on that branch of next to you? Oh, look at the beautiful caterpillar. Oh, I think don't touch it now, because sometimes things are poisonous, so we don't want to risk you getting it. A million. A yellow spotted lizard. Mind your house. I'm just worried about those being a fly trap, so they seem rather big. They seem mm -hmm. like a bee. Right. I am on a branch, I need to. Yeah. Right, Stan, I think it's time for a snack after all of these adventures. Here you go, there's some water for you. Some coffee, I need a cup of coffee. Now did you know, Stan, that coffee comes all the way from Brazil and the coffee beans are grown on the trees and they get sent over back over to England and made into coffee that we enjoy. And also, are you a bit hungry, Stan? Yeah. yeah. Did you know that one of your favourite foods, or where if I put it, also comes from Brazil? Can you think what it could be? Bananas. Oh yeah, bananas are our favourite. They're up at the top of the tree. We can't reach those at the moment. Good thinking. Anything else that you quite like? Donuts. Donuts. I know that donuts come from Brazil. We've got chocolate comes from Brazil. Well, not necessarily the chocolate itself, but the special beans, the cacao beans. I think that's how it's pronounced. It, like a cocoa bean comes from Brazil and then gets sent over to Cadbury's or wherever and made into chocolate. Would you like a Freddo? Yeah. We'll get a banana later. Okay. Right. I'm going to enjoy my coffee. What's that noise? 
<laughs> oh my gosh, it's a green anaconda. Quick, Stan, let's run. So that was a strange dream, wasn't it? But I brought all those things from that dream back into the room today. They're popping out of my suitcase. So we've got the frog, we've got the sloth, we've got uh, the um, lemurs, we've got the parrots, and lots. Of, I've tried to have a look around my house for any plants that might remind me of the kind of plants that we saw in the rainforest in my strange dream. So let's find out a little bit more about Brazil to start off with. So it's in South America. If you've got a map at home, have a look. And it is one of the largest country in South America. And it, Brazil is named after the tree, the Brazilian wood tree. And in Brazil, what language do you think they might speak in Brazil? Any ideas? Brazilian? No, it's actually Portuguese that was spoken in Brazil. So we're going to be traveling now. Within Brazil, there is a huge, very, very famous rainforest that covers Brazil and other countries called the Amazon Rainforest. And it's a huge place and I would love to um, go to Brazil and to the Amazon rainforest at some point. But for today, we've had to make do with books and I've had to find out much more about rainforests and the kind of things that we might see if we went to the Amazon rainforest. And then you get these different levels of the rainforest where different animals exist, different insects and different plants. Today I want to see if we can have a go at creating our own kind of rainforest um, collage, I'd say. And we're going to have a go at seeing if we can get those different layers into some sort of collage. So again, like I said, we haven't necessarily got rainforest plants around us, but you might be surprised on your travels that some of the things you find could, we could use. Um, so we're gonna start off by having a look very close. We're gonna be using our eyes again and trying to use our magnifying glass and looking very carefully at plants to get a real sense of their texture and their shape and their color. And we're gonna produce some drawings to begin with. And I'm gonna just start off with the, a spider plant. So whether it, it gets found in the rainforest or not, it, I, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna have a go just trying to capture the leaves of it and think, well, if I was gonna create a collage and trying to get this kind of rainforest effect, it'd be good to have lots of different types of plants. So there's my spider plant. I'm gonna get the leaves as they kind of come out of the pot. I'm not gonna worry too much about the pot. I'm just trying to get the color of the leaves and the shape of those long thin leaves and smaller ones as they're just emerging and start, starting to grow and some as they curl they kind of twist around so I'm sketching in pencil first just faintly like I always say to just start off faintly doesn't matter if you make a mistake you can always rub it out and taking our time just to kind of get those sh different shapes because that'd be lovely kind of, I could have some sloths hanging off these later on because I'm trying to create like a miniature rainforest. And when I was younger, there was a film called Honey, I Shrunk the Kids where the, the I think the dad shrunk the kids and they um, were then in their garden, different places and suddenly even like a blade of grass looked gigantic. So I was thinking if we just used everyday plants, pot plants around your house, they're quite small, nothing like compared to the rainforest plants, but then if we shrunk the animals, the insects, maybe we'll have a bird eating spider in there, maybe you're going to have some lizards in there, maybe even a photograph of yourself climbing through them. So suddenly if we play around with the scale, make the small things gigantic and have our own little adventure. So I'm going to slowly colour that in. You can have a go at this at home in a minute and you can go and find some of your own plants around the house to have a go at. So I'm going to carry on adding colour to that. So when I finish for, um, colouring in my plant, I'm going to very carefully be cutting it out. So taking your time to go all around the edges no rush, I'm cutting it out. Whoops, stuck there. Now, you could have a go at doing some drawings. So maybe two or three drawings of plants. And then maybe, if you, have, if you fancy, if you've got any wax crayons, you can have a go at doing some rubbings of plants. So if you go around your garden, check with your parents first. Don't just start kind of pulling off leaves. But they might be some kind of trees 
that have got some leaves that have got quite good veins on them. Check on the back and just check the texture. As if it's got quite an interesting shape or some quite interesting veins on the back of it, it might create a really nice rubbing. And that's also something we could use in our collage. Another thing is, if it's a rainy day, you haven't got any pot plants, you can't get out. Have you got any old magazines lying around the house? They might have some pictures of plants in, you never know. Have a little look and see what you can find. So I'm busy chopping that out, and then I'm gonna get that ready to go into my picture. So that when you've finished, you could kind of add in a little picture of yourself, maybe your family. Could be a little picture of your whole family going on a trek through the, through the rainforest. And hopefully it will start to kind of come together as you stick it onto some paper and look a little bit more like it, like this. So we've got a mixture of the collage, we've got a mixture of um, the rubbings under there, and the photographs stuck out. And then I've started to add my, got my sloth there, and I've got a hummingbird there, and when I found a picture of a tiger. So that could be our first rainforest picture, but I haven't added me in, so I might add my, my, myself in it in a minute. So that's our first challenge for today, for you to have a go at. Another thing, at the end of my little video, can you remember what nearly got me and Stan? So in the dream, It was a snake. Now, I thought the next challenge could be a family challenge for you and your family to see if you can create the longest snake. Now, what I want you to do for this, you see my snake's body isn't, oh, this is obviously a cardboard head, but then can you see how I've made the body get longer and longer and longer? Made out of paper chains. We are going to try and create a really long snake at each house. Now, I would like you, first of all, to check with your parents, because one thing is that I don't want to use up all the paper in your house. So you must check with your parents and see what scrap paper you've got around your house. You might have newspapers, magazines, or you might have things that have been printed onto that you don't need anymore. So I found some old bits of um, printed paper that I didn't need. But please do not go and take all the paper in your house to do this. I don't want you to do that. So if you've got scrap paper, like magazines and newspapers, I want you to cut it up into strips. And then the next thing also to check is if you've got either some masking tape or a safe stapler or a glue. So depending on what you've got, it might take a little bit longer. But if you're working with your brothers and sisters to do this, then you can be taking it in turn. Someone can be doing the kind of sticking, someone can get the tape ready. So if you're using tape, you might want to you'll use either scissors to tear it, or just masking tape is quite easy sometimes to cut with with your fingers. But you'd have a little pile ready, that's what I sometimes do at school. Have a little pile ready there, so I've got it ready to use, so I don't have to keep going back and trying to unpeel it. Um, and you've got your tape or stapler. So the first thing we need, so we can make our first one, without uh, too much work, we put our first one on like that, hold it together, but the next one, next one, we have to go through that first one. I'll leave it to you how you make your chain, but I want to see you make a lovely long snake body. I would like to see you and your family create a head to go on the front, it doesn't necessarily have to be a 3D head like this one, but you could just use the idea of a flat head at the front, and then you might have a little end to the tail, it might have a sting at the end of its tail, but yeah, to the end. And maybe we could take a photo of you in the garden or something, try and see if you can measure it, and we'd we'll like to see who makes the longest snake, and which family wins. So that's going to be our second challenge, for our Brazilian rainforest topic. So even if you don't manage the, the collage rainforest and you want to have a go at the snake activity, I would love to see one of those or both of those for next week, please. So, and then next week, we're going to be going to somewhere beginning with C. Now, where could that be? If you've got any places you've been to or you'd like to go beginning with C, let me know. And um, maybe we'll go there next week. I look forward to joining you then. Bye.